Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie at CameronMCNZ on Twitter. I'm going to show you how to use the UiPath Studio Get Username Password Activity. So here's how to log into a website using UiPath Studio's Get Username Password X Activity and also access this Windows Credentials Credentials Vault over here. You can see I got a nice little username password application here. It's got a little cheat on it. It says, hey, there's the username and password that will work. So if you kind of log in, you'll get some details and some information in there. Um, if you go back to the page, it'll log you out. By the way, that's over at rpacertified.com slash acme slash index.html. So if anybody wants to bring that file up and do this exercise yourself, you can. But let's say I wanted to automate this. I wanted to do this using UiPath Studio. Well, the way I would do it is first I would add an activity to open a browser to that URL. And then of course I want to type into this username and password field, the username and password, and maybe even a username and password pulled from Windows credentials. So the easiest way to do that is, well, I'm in UiPath Studio, but I'm gonna use a Studio X activity. So I've got Show Studio X selected there. And the one I'm gonna use is called uh, Get Username Password X. There it is right there. I'm just gonna drag this right into the do. Might even maximize this page just so that it's a little easier to look at. And it's gonna say, what's the credential that you wanna use? Well, I don't have a credential set up already, so I'm gonna call it the UI path example credential. And then I'll throw a username and password in here. And what did we say? We said, hey, mail at uipath.com is valid. And we also said, hey, password will work as well. So I'm gonna throw those in there as well. You can show the password if you want. But now I've got this associated with this UiPath activity. When this runs, it's actually gonna take that username and password and store it in the credentials manager. And in the future, if it runs again, it'll pull it out of that credentials manager. Okay, so now, of course, we've got the save for later variable. I'm gonna name that, press what, control K right there and give that the name credentials. That seems like a, a sensible name. And then, of course, I've got this web page open. And let's see if I've opened it up in Firefox. I just tend to like to use Firefox for development while from day-to-day -day stuff I use, um, I use Chrome. And here we go, we can actually see this. Now that's the whole thing loaded up over there in Firefox. I'm actually gonna just do a, a little razzle dazzle here so I can share the screen a little bit. In order to get the next step going here, what I need to do is I need to say, I wanna take that credential and I wanna type the username in here and the password in there. And so that's just a matter of using the type into activity. UI automation, type into, click over here. What do we wanna type in there? Well, I'm gonna select it into that field right there. I want to type in credentials dot username. So then that's gonna throw the username in. And of course the password, it's gonna be exactly the same thing, except it's gonna be different. <laughs> and uh, so I'll indicate in screen the password there. And of course it's not credentials dot username, but it's credentials dot password, there it is right there. And of course the login we wanna click. So we're gonna to have to add the click activity. Click, 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 and that's gonna be a mouse click on UI automation. What are we gonna click? We're gonna click this sign in button. And hopefully when this all runs, that will sign us into the website using our credential that's gonna be saved over here. Now notice I called this UI path example credential. You do not see UI path credential right there, even if I flip back and forth. Um, and actually, look at that, it's just been added in. I thought it wouldn't add in till runtime, but I just learned something myself. And there you go, just as soon as I added in there, that credential is now stored permanently in Windows credentials. Boy, UiPath Studio surprises me how awesome it is. Okay, well, let's see this thing in action. I'm gonna close this browser window and let it start fresh. So I'm gonna say, let's debug this application. Boom, here it goes. Firefox, of course, wastes my time by installing some updates. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> but now it's going to open up Firefox in this Firefox browser window. I get this window that comes up that says, hey, enter your credentials or accept the credentials that have already been stored. If I update this, it will save it in the Windows Credentials Manager. 
it now clicks OK, it logs me in, and now I'm into the website. And there you go. That's how easy it is to use UiPath Studio and a UiPath Studio X activity to save a credential and subsequently use that credential, that username and password, to log in to a website. And again, if you want to use that website yourself, you can grab that form. It's over on rpacertified.com. And there you go. That's how easy it is to use the UiPath Studio Get Username Password Activity. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, head over to theserverside.com. We've got lots of great tutorials on UiPath, DevOps, Enterprise Software Development in general. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and subscribe on the YouTube.